Hello friends, today I'm gonna reveal you an interesting story on my 5 adeniums or desert rose plants. I'll share my complete experience on growing adenium plants and reveal you 3 nursery gardening secrets to grow adenium from seeds with 100% success results. I'll also show you the comparison between adenium seeds purchased from Amazon versus the fresh seeds harvested from adenium seed pods. Please watch it till the end. Before we start, please make sure to subscribe to this channel along with the bell notification so that you'll get notified as soon as I add another useful episode. Well, to begin, I received these 5 bare rooted baby adenium plants about an year back gifted by my dearest gardener friend Ram from Terrace Gardening channel. These adeniums travelled over a thousand miles to reach the destination in a great condition. This is because these are excellent drought tolerant plants and rightly called desert rose. So you can safely purchase them online if it's not available at your local nursery. For beginners, Adenium obesum is a succulent plant which stores lot of water in its stem and also the modified part of the stem called the caudex. We have discussed these in detail in my other Adenium videos. You can check that Adenium playlist from description below. Before I reveal you the 3 nursery secrets on growing Adeniums, I'll quickly brief you on the 5 important care tips for Adeniums. On number 1. Soil, this is the most important factor for successfully growing adeniums. It's a desert rose and hence prefers a sandy soil. Make sure you have at least 50% sand or perlite mixed in your potting soil. For details on the perfect potting mix for adeniums or any succulent, I have a detailed episode on this topic. You can check that at the link at the end screen of this video. On number 2. Watering, if your soil is really well draining, the frequency of watering does not matter much. Like for in instance, if you have a lot of rains in your zone, it's almost like daily watering. And also make sure you have good drainage holes in your container. Otherwise, generally watering weekly twice is the general rule for adenium like any other succulent plant. On number 3. Sunlight, this is very important factor for proper flowering. Adenium needs maximum sunlight and good humidity for flowering and growth. At least 6 hours of direct sunlight is a must. On number 4. Fertilizers. Most recommend chemical fertilizers like the water soluble NPK but I always use organic ones like the simple decomposed cow dung or vermicompost like a handful of it once in a month. And during repotting, mixing a tablespoon of steamed bone meal powder will do the job and induce enormous flowering in all seasons except in the dormant season, that's the winter season. On number 5, Pest Control. It's commonly affected by sucking pests like aphids, mealybugs and mites. Weekly spray of 10 ml neem oil in 1 litre of water will easily control this problem. Now, let's look into the 3 nursery secrets on how to grow adeniums from seeds. To start this story, I purchased adenium seeds from Amazon and followed all tips perfectly to germinate these adenium seeds. I have shown this in a detailed video some time ago. You can check a link to that episode in the description below. But the results of these Amazon purchase seeds was really bad, not even a single seed germinated. Then recently one of my adeniums started developing a seed pod. First thing you need to do when you notice an adenium seed pod is tie some thread around the pot to prevent spillage of seeds before the seed pod matures and releases the seeds. It has a special seed dispersal mechanism by wind where each seed has this fluffy stuff which is easily carried away by the wind. Here you can see I have protected the seed pod from its natural dispersal mechanism. When the seed pod starts drying and cracks open, it is the time to harvest the seeds. Separate the seeds by gently pulling this fluffy stuff as shown in this clip. So these are fresh adenium seeds we just harvested. Now the first secret to get us great success in germination. These seeds are very delicate and are more prone to fungus. So what you need to do immediately is pour in some antifungal powder like bavistin or any antifungal powder like carbon dazeem plus mancozep combination like the SAF brand powder. Coat the seeds with this antifungal powder whether you are keeping them aside for storage or plan to sow them immediately. Now the second nursery secret, the growing medium. You can use either pure sand or some cocoa peat mixed with it. 
What they actually do is take fine sand and sterilize it by keeping full sunlight for at least two to three days. Or if you're growing in a small scale, you can even microwave this sand. I think if you're using this antifungal powder, this step is perhaps optional. Now the third secret and then finally the results of this process on day 6, day 10, day 12 and day 15. And one more thing, you also mix some antifungal powder into the sand or cocoa peat or whatever medium you are using. And while sowing the seeds, try to maintain at least a gap of an inch to avoid overcrowding. You can do this much better, he have not done this uh, perfectly. Then finally, you also mix some antifungal into the water or spray can and use the same solution to gently spray or gently sprinkle some water once every two days. Do not flood the seeds with water, this can damage the seeds. Now the time for results. You can see on day 6 there is some activity, the little ones are trying to push up the sand. On day 10, some more activity. You can see little babies popping out more and see this little baby adenium in the zoomed view. On day 12, more improvement and formation of these tiny babies. Then on day 15, you can see so many beautiful baby adeniums popping out. You can repot these into independent containers after a month or so. So there you have it folks, that was an interesting story of my adeniums. Please like and share this video if you found it helpful. Also comment below with your feedback and queries. Consider subscribing if you are new to this channel. Happy gardening.